about some of this culture. It's something. It's something incredible. It's totally uh, changes your perspective on the universe. Um, I, I grew up in the suburbs and just recently got dumped into into the festival culture via making music and started um, started getting introduced to new ways of thinking, new ways, new kinds of people, and just a new way of life. And really, uh, I think I think it's. It's weird. I, I always think of it as like a Chinese checkers board because you, you build these there's like these little pockets all over the world like like think of like the pockets of the, the board where where you see these tiny little communities and every I feel like every state has a little place you can go where you can run into people that like are involved in these types of festivals and like-minded consciousness or whatever I don't know whatever words you want to use to call it you instantly know you're safe and at home and feel right with you know like a common state of mind or something I definitely feel that there's a connection there and the connection is the youth um, these as these festivals grow they're they're attracting younger and younger people and they're exposing them to uh, a lot different ideas that they were that they might not find in their everyday lives uh, you know, through school or work or even in their communities that are a part of. And I think it, in that way it can grow and um, open the mind to new ways of thinking. Growing up, I was raised pretty isolated from other people. My family was very much conservative and religious and very much af afraid of a lot of things and all the outside world, and so I was super sheltered. And, um, and beyond that, there was, there was a community, but it was a very, it was a community which was based on beliefs which I didn't adhere to because I felt it was very judgmental and didn't allow for human evolution or growth. And so I kind of went out on my own. But when I discovered this community out here, which I found through people who were like, you have to come out here because these people think like you, it really resonated to find such a large group of people who cared about the same types of things I did. It was awesome to find a group of people who were actually, despite all of our, you know, growth and our growing periods, which sometimes can be difficult and challenging, we're truly trying to evolve artistically, creatively, consciously, and actively even though there's definitely like ups and downs within any community. For the history of human culture, there's been a long-standing tradition of groups of people that live in nature getting together and doing ritual that involves a lot of times dancing, putting on masks, and doing traditional music. And their culture, their religion, their spiritual traditions, their agriculture, just the fabric of their society is tied together by these kinds of gatherings. And now you fast forward to modern society, and the nuclear family is barely even together now, and people live in these isolated groups in these houses with walls, and they're being bombarded by media and television. And the closest they get to ritual is maybe going to school, or going to a football game or something like that. But festival culture enables people to come out of their normal mode of operation and their normal environment and congregate in large numbers and do what the ancient tribal people of the world were doing, but in a modern context. It's a way to foster interconnectedness in human society, which is something we need desperately because a lot of modern society is creating these divisions and People think some things can be separate from something else, but modern physics would basically prove that it's impossible for anything to be separate from anything else, and that there is no such thing as a closed system. And we need to remember this and act in a way that is in accordance with nature and in accordance with the way the universe works. There's so many elements of the festival, but one of the, you know, obviously the key element is music. And uh, as soon as the music comes on, as soon as the beat drops, uh, it changes everything. It changes the way you feel uh, physically and mentally. 
um, the people around you, everything, you know, just it stirs up different emotions. And it does go back to that primitive, um, you know, the simple beat of a drum. Tribal. Yes, yeah, it's tribal, it's a heartbeat. And uh, it changes everything. As soon as you feel it, it gets into your body and you just, you dance or you just sit and stare or, you know, everyone kind of uh, reacts differently. But whatever that reaction is, it's an emotional reaction. And, uh, you know, so the music is just really a driving force here. Lighting a Bottle started, started 10 or 12 years ago kind of as a small birthday party for, with some uh, family and friends and uh, over the years it, it kind of grew from there and just evolved into uh, what is now a, a full-blown three-day arts and music festival. The Do Lab is uh, you know kind of an events creation company but we focus on large installation art and uh, stages, environments, whatnot. We try and have an uh, interactive element to everything we do and, and a big artistic element of everything that we do. A big part of what the Do Lab does is we really care about creating experiences for people. And we're trying to create unique, amazing experiences that you can't really find anywhere else. And our, our entire crew is really passionate about uh, the details of those experiences and, and really focusing on making every little aspect perfect. You know, what I think makes Lighting a Bottle unique to other festivals is that we really try and uh, we try and bring equal balance to uh, all the art forms, not just have it be all about music like most festivals. Like we're trying to bring uh, art and performance and workshops and yoga and speakers and education on a level playing field as to music and, and kind of have all those guys on, on equal terms. I really admire the fact that they care a lot um, about taking little steps like giving away free water, having recycling, doing everything they can to make it a leave no trace. Like also trying to influence the people who are at the festivals to care more about our planet and each other in the earth and by fusing consciousness and education into a party. I think it's a very, very, very intelligent and cool idea. I want to get you in my skin, churning like the ocean, only then can I awake and feel myself begin. I want to fight for my own strength, cracking through the pavement, bones of harmony and flesh burning to see. My skeleton of stone, my heart a burning bone, my rapturous tone, my aching for home, my dance upon my tomb. Let me go, only then can I wait.
only then can I awake and feel myself begin. I wanna fight for my own strength, cracking through the pavement, bones of harmony and flesh learning to see. My skeleton of stone, my heart burning bone, my rapturous tone, my aching for home, my dancing on my tomb, my butterfly wings I've sown. The thing about music festivals is that it gives people, it gives the entire community an opportunity to come together and converge on one location and everybody gets to bring their, their contribution uh, to the festival and it's like, it's just a community celebration and everybody can kind of take the energy and the love and the experience that they had back home with them to, you know, Portland or Seattle or Austin or wherever, Denver, Los Angeles and and uh, you know, kind of take that back, and, and it kind of like rejuvenates you for the next the next year. I feel that let's take a look at churches. Um, the whole purpose of church is to create congregation, to create community, and uh, celebrate life. And I feel like this is uh, in no way any different, minus maybe the uh, the dogma and. <laughs> And darkness, um, it's, this is like church, you know, it's, it's people getting together, celebrating life through music. That's, that's, uh, that's about as human as it gets. It's a, definitely a sense of like family and, and something I'm still, still learning about and breaking the barriers of where I came from. And I feel like, you know, it's something I'd like to be able to share with, with other friends and family that I've, I've grown up with and, and bring them out to to something like this and without them being like oh this is this is hella weird you know people are doing weird things and be like no this is just like this is how some people live this is like people travel around the world with festivals and playing music and you know sharing art sharing clothing fashion like uh whatever you know music and whatever it is your craft is or whatever you, your passion is and I think it's really important and something that is really achieved at these kind of shows. You know, and it is a community that just it travels around. Um, we we see the same faces at all the different festivals we do throughout the year. You know, it's like a traveling circuit of friends and family and community that that just kind of all right. I'll, I'll see you at the next one. You know, I'll see you at Shambhala. I'll see you at Emergency. You know, um, it, it's really cool. You can rely on your summer being filled with these same people and. Uh, you know, it's just a neat experience. It, it makes it family oriented. It makes it community oriented. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a great way to go through life. You know, having that element. There. I wanna get you in my skin, churning like the ocean. Only then can I awake and feel myself begin. I wanna fight for my own strength, cracking through the pavements, bones of harmony. And flesh learning to see my skeleton of stone, my heart burning bone, my rapturous 